Hello folks, uh, I'm uh, starting this machine learning and deep learning bootcamp series of data science and uh, you will also get some flavor of uh, data engineering as well uh, in this bootcamp series. So through this series, I will be covering each aspect of data science life cycle uh, right from collecting data from uh, you know disparate data sources to doing visualization as well as model deployment in production. I will uh, also be showing you how to uh, basically perform data process, pre-processing and uh, data, re, uh, in fact, build uh, regression, classification, clustering, as well as a recurrent neural network. Uh, in fact, I will also be covering uh, convolution net neural network, autoencoders, etc. So you know more, have to uh, search for uh, you know different uh, learning materials here and there uh, as you will get the entire content in this series. And this is just a start and I will be regularly creating videos for entire machine learning and deep learning bootcamp series. And uh, you know I will also be keep on updating this uh, playlist uh, so don't miss subscribing to my channel as well as pressing bell icon to get regular updates when a new video is released. This is Nitin who is uh, on a mission to democratize uh, the artificial intelligence, big data Hadoop, cloud computing as well as blockchain to the world. And with this aim, I will, uh, I'm going to create uh, the associated content and publish it on periodic basis in order to make it available for the entire community who wants to learn these modern technologies. So you can subscribe to my channel or press the bell icon to keep on getting the latest updates. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, data science life cycle. That is, what all steps do we need to follow to develop a data science project? Uh, okay. Well, everyone, uh, in fact, every industry verticals follows their own approach. But there are steps which are more or less industry, uh, you know, vertical covers. So one such framework is Awesome Framework, also known as awesome framework so o s e m n so these are the letters on which this particular uh, framework is based out okay so i repeat it's o s e m n awesome framework and i would like uh, to introduce two more in, uh, steps in this uh, framework so that we cover each aspect of data science framework okay now each letter of awesome uh, framework has some meaning and uh, I will explain the meaning of each letter as well as two additional ones okay uh, so let's take O which means uh, so this will be the first letter so uh, the O means obtain that is collect data from disparate data sources okay so that is the meaning of O then comes uh, S. S means scrub, which means cleaning the data, slicing and dicing the data, performing transformations, uh, preparing it in uh, you know a, a format that machine uh, can understand. Okay, so that's the meaning of uh, S or scrub. Okay, uh, then next comes E, uh, which is the third character. And it stands for explore, which means treating numerical, categorical, uh, variables compute descriptive statistics for you know finding uh, significant patterns and trends etc okay now uh, the fourth letter uh, is M which stands for model building that is building machine learning models for any predictive analytics or forecasting related problems uh, I will uh, build a classification a regression neural network type of models as a part of this step okay and lastly, N stands for interpret, which refers to uh, presentation of uh, your data to a non-technical uh, person, okay, or a layman, okay. Now the two business uh, or the additional steps I'm uh, introducing here are business understanding, okay, which means asking the relevant questions and defining clear objectives for the problem that needs to be solved. And uh, this will be the very first step uh, in the data science project, okay? And the other step which I'm in going to introduce is uh, feature engineering, which refers to 
identifying important features as well as uh, constructing more meaning uh, meaningful features from these identified ones okay using raw data we have right so this this step will come in between e and m which is uh, explore okay right so explore and uh, model building okay so here is the complete uh, workflow which covers uh, all the important steps so you can see here so this is the complete workflow now i will cover each and every step in detail in the upcoming videos okay and since i introduce two more steps uh, are uh, okay uh, and uh, the other one which was feature engineering so uh, i i will call this uh, framework as a rosm framework instead of awesome this will be rosm framework okay so for uh, this is it for this video and uh, to conclude uh, uh, i introduce awesome framework uh, from the data science life cycle perspective okay and then i introduced two more steps and called uh, this particular framework as rosm framework okay i also explained the meaning of each individual phase and what exactly each letter stands for uh, okay and as i mentioned earlier i also introduced uh, two more phases of data science life cycle in order to have the entire coverage okay end to end so here is today's question are you excited about starting your data science journey to achieve your goal of becoming a data scientist uh, the sexiest job of 21st century and stepping into exciting future please share your comments in the comment section given below and if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe uh, button and in case you have already subscribed then uh, click on bell icon to receive the uh, notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with us guys. I will be covering the next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.